Okay, so going to do a pour. Um, colors, this is a 10 by 10 canvas and I have, my colors are black acrylic, uh, fluorescent violet, uh, dioxazine purple, uh, Amsterdam standard series, this is turquoise blue. And then I have two craft paints here. Uh, this is Nicole fresh blue and Decoart Extreme Sheen Silver. And then I also have my um, Arteza Pearl Copper Gold, which I haven't used in a while, so I'm excited to use that again. Um, I have a white here also, part of a leftover cup of white that I had from I don't even remember when. I then just added a good bit of the flow acrylic into it and some more flow trawl also just to make a nice cup because I think I want to use this as my um, base. All my paints are just flow trawl. There's no water in any of my colors. Two pa paints are mixed two to one and the craft paints, the blue and the silver are mixed one to one because I want them nice and thick. So I think I'm gonna do a ring pour. I have this comb that I stole from my sister. Uh, she left it down here, but um, yeah, it's just like a wide tooth, um, you know, shower comb. I've been watching a lot of um, Mina Villegas. I hope I say that right, but her channel is amazing. She's been doing a lot of these wrecked ring pours lately with a comb like this, and I love the results that she gets. It's very, always a lot of movement and interest in the pieces, so. I want to try it. Um, so yeah, I guess let's just get started. I really like these three colors right here. I think they look really pretty together. The fluorescent violet, the pearl copper gold, and the turquoise. Just gonna do a little bit of turquoise in the center. Do this one. It's probably a lot. Just trying to be mindful a little bit too of um, these paints all have different opacities. So I want to make sure that I, um, whoops, just did that. Make sure that I am mindful of the various opacities. Let's just do a little bit of this. And this fluorescent violet is uh, pretty translucent, so I don't like to I want to make sure I use enough that it's going to uh, show up. Oh, that looks pretty cool. So yeah, we'll just start with that. All right, 
so I'm just going to put a nice puddle down just enough to help it sort of flow all right that's recording so I'm gonna do this are kind of extra shaky today. Well, that looks pretty cool. Cup is pretty. Got some cool cells on the side there. Okay. Lots of blue and turquoise. just leave this one alone and uh, stretch it the way it is and see how it turns out because I I just I don't know I love the composition and I don't want to mess it up and I know that it would turn into something totally different and potentially really awesome if I did wreck it but at the same time I kind of hate to you know maybe I'll save the wrecking for one that I'm not crazy about how it looks after I Pour it so I'd like to just stretch this out and see how I do so I'm going to pour around it without dripping okay I think that's good yeah that looks really pretty I'm hoping that when I stretch it out a bit, uh, it will reveal all the colors. So I'm just going to go off this corner. Back to the center. Probably go off this corner now. I want this to cover the canvas, I think. Although that does look pretty cool right there. All right. 
back to the center. And then we'll go down this way. covering the final corner here. And then coming back down. This looks really cool. I love this. Amazing. So yeah, I mean, I'm glad I didn't wreck it. I could have, but I think it's really nice the way it is. So yeah, happy with that. Paper towel. And then I'm going to fix my corners. I'll give it a torch. And then I do want to do one more, so maybe I'll wreck that one. Hey, I'm back. Um, I want to do another pour, basically exactly the same as the one I just did, except this one I want to wreck, and I want to see how it makes a difference. So um, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to use the same cup. Um, so yeah.
don't think I want to do one right through the center. I think I'd rather do like one that way and maybe one that way or something. Hopefully that's not too muddy. Okay. I'm gonna go around. You know, come to think of it, I could have done this before. Before I combed it. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of that, but. Eh. Always learning. Okay, I think that's good. So I might just do Okay. Now I definitely like this area down here because it's a little more open. So. How did I miss this area up here? Tilting some of this area over on the right off a bit. like that this is showing bare canvas over on this corner, so I'm going to try to cover that up.
So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit, scrape it, and uh, probably torch it one more time and then I'll move it over to my drying area and I'll show you both paintings together. Okay, so here are my two pours that I just did. This is the ring pour. I love this middle part. To me, it's looking a little darker on camera than it looks in person, but that's probably actually more accurate to what it's gonna look like when it's dry. I like this area over here. This corner is really pretty. And just all this, um, fluorescent violet mixed with the turquoise and the uh, pearl copper gold. It's beautiful. And I love this corner too. I love all the little cells. So there's that one. The non-rect one. And then over here we have the rect one. I got some kind of bald areas on the sides. I think that's where the silver was. I think the silver is just not thick enough being a metallic and a craft paint. Uh, I don't know. It just doesn't seem to uh, want to stick on the edges, but. So we have the middle is like there's this bright turquoise area over here and then on the other side there's the um, bright like the uh, fluorescent violet right there in the middle and then this nice area with the pearl copper gold over here and we got some cells going through there as well so yeah there's the wrecked one I think it looks nicer in person than it does on camera, but hopefully they'll dry nicely. So there they are together. I think they look really cool. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please check me out on Instagram at FluidArtistM and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.